Good afternoon. 27 years ago, B.C. marked the first Rivers Day. Now it has evolved into a global event with millions around the world working to conserve our waterways. Our Jennifer Palma joins us from Gishon Creek on BCIT's Burnaby campus with the very man who started it all. Jen? <laughs> Sophie, that's right. We are here, Gishon Creek. It's a beautiful day. Make sure you can come down here. We'll have a little bit more information of other locations if you can't make it to Burnaby. This is a worldwide event taking place, and joining us is founder and chair of World Rivers Day, Mark Angelo. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I guess the obvious question would be, why do we need a World Rivers Day? Rivers Day has a few major objectives. First, it helps to create a greater awareness as to the many values of our rivers, just how special they really are. Uh, in addition, I think it also creates a greater awareness of some of the issues or threats that confront our rivers, but it also encourages all of us to become more active as river stewards. And as you can see at this event here, we've got lots of people down on the river uh, planting vegetation. We'll be releasing some fish a little bit later. It's a really positive event and a great way to engage the community. Mm -hmm. And this began in BC almost 30 years ago, is that about right? It did. Back in 1980, we started started with a single cleanup on the Thompson River and uh, relatively small scale by today's mm -hmm. standards, but it was a great success. Uh, so we thought next year, let's plan a few more events. And the next year we planned a few more after that mm -hmm. to the point where today we've got a hundred events like this taking place in virtually every community. And with this weather, we've got at least 75,000 British Columbians out with us. So that's been, uh, that's been wonderful wow. to see. Yeah, that's amazing. Guichon Creek here, this is beautiful, but this was not this beautiful all the time, correct? Right. This is really a Guichon Creek really is a good news story. This is a stream that was severely damaged about 40 years ago. It had been stripped of streamside vegetation. It was highly polluted. It had been dredged and channelized. Couldn't sustain any fish. Well, there's been an effort over the last few decades on the part of students and staff in the Fish and Wildlife Program to restore this creek. And we've gotten to a point now where, where this creek, once again, is a vibrant stream. It can sustain fish again. It's lots of wildlife use the corridor. And it's a wonderful place for people who live in this community to spend some time now, it's important to note it took 30 years to get it to this point, right? So are we doing damage to our world's rivers? Well, no question. When, when you look at this stream, you know, the fact that it took 30 years to bring it back, you know, that shows that once we damage a stream, we can't turn that around overnight. So I think the lesson from Gishon is that we have to ensure that we do a better job up front in terms of protecting our waterways. Excellent. Now, if people want to join, there's several, there's actually dozens and dozens of events going on around the province today. So where where can they go to look for this information? There is something going on in every community and something for everyone. So to find out more about events near any any community, they can log on to www.riversday.bcit.ca. Excellent. Thank you very much. Much Mark Angelo. He's Thank the you. founder and chair of World Rivers Day. And the event is underway here now. began at 11 o'clock. Goes until 3 o'clock. And most of the events will be on until 3 this afternoon. Make sure you get out there. It's a beautiful day. Go ahead and enjoy it. Sophie. All right. Thanks for that. Jennifer Palmer reporting live at BCIT in Burnaby this afternoon.